Hello again guys. Okay, here we are back at my example video. So, what I want to do now is I want to add a text box, but I don't just want a text box, I want it flying across my screen. So, what we need to do first of all is decide where we want the text box. So let's say we want it here, okay? We go along to this T over here, alright? And there's this add text box. So remember it's going to be added at where we've got our playhead. So let's add our text box. So there we go, our text clip there. So let's just say we want to say test text, for instance, and let's click on. You always have to click on the box to so make any action or changes or anything to it, okay? So let's change the color to yellow. No, you can't see that. Uh, dark blue, no, I don't like that. Pink, there we go. Let's have it pink, okay? Um, so there's my text box. Just having a look to see whether I wanted a starting transition. So let's add a starting transition to it. Okay, and so our transition, we can pick our starting transition, so it can be a page curl, for instance. Let's see what that looks at like. the social networking account. Look at that! Did you see that? <laughs> Look at this. record for everybody at the social networking. See, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? And we can add an ending transition as well, but we won't worry about that. Okay, let me just open that up a bit more. I want that transition a bit longer. There we go. Now let's look at it. Look, watch. I'm about to record for everybody at the social network. See, the, the, why do you make this transition bit, then the slower the actual transition? But anyway, let's not worry about that because it's not the transition I'm after. It's getting it flying across the screen. So what I'm going to do is over here, okay, I want to add a video action right at the very beginning. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to click on, oh, first of all, first of all, let me take my text box out of the screen. I don't want it in there. I'm going to put it over there to the side, okay? Now I'm going to add a video action, okay? And what I'm going to do is I am going to basically move my text box, oops, pref preferably straight, right across my screen, okay? And out the other side. Then I'm going to go and grab my video action and I'm going to move it to the length of my text box. And let's make my text box a bit longer. And let's move that along there. Okay, let's make it a bit longer. Move that along there. A bit longer. Move that along there. Ready? Now what now watch happens when I play. Look, a screen flow video that I'm about to record for everybody at the Social Networking Academy. Um, so I'm going to show them this box, me in the <laughs> webcam, and I'm going to show them how to move me in and out of the box and delete me and all the rest of it and how to um, look at that. So actually that beginning um, transition wasn't needed because you couldn't see it anyway. But that is a text box essentially flying across your screen, which I think is quite cool. The other thing about text boxes, which you can do as well, is you can, I think I showed you this, but you can actually put an image in here. Yeah, so I could actually fill this with an image. I could go to my desktop or wherever and I could go and grab an image from um, somewhere here. So let's just find an image. Let's see what image I've used recently. Here we go, laughing crowd image. That was quite a good image. So there's my laughing crowd image. Um, and you know that's that's what you'll Green see. Greenflow video screen, that I'm look. about to record for everybody at the Social Networking Academy. Um, so I'm going to show that. So in other words, you could actually have an image all set up and all the rest of it, yeah. And you can literally put that in there, um, and you can get that moving across your scale to fill look. You can do all sorts there. All right, you can have margins. You can make it bigger, move it smaller, make it bigger. Play around with that. How cool is this? Okay. Um, and then your text can actually be an image. Yeah, you can actually fill your text with an image. So let's say you don't want to put any text in here. What you actually want to put is, actually, let me just pause it and I'm going to go and find my social networking academy. Let's put that in. Hold on one second. Okay, that didn't work. Look, what happens when you put your image in as your text? Your image is there. It, look, it's within your actual text. I haven't tried that before. That's why I wanted to have a quick go at that. Okay, so now what I want to show you very quickly before we go is I want to show you what I've literally just done to this video because as I was recording then, my little box here kept going back to image and not going back to solid colour, which is really strange. It keeps going back to image. So I think I'm just going to have to shut this down. Little bugs got in there somewhere. What I actually did is I took out a little bit of the recording. I split the clip and I took out a little bit of the recording. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say I've got to this bit here and I decide I don't really like that section there between 35 seconds and 40 seconds. 
what I can do is I can click on 35 seconds there and I must click on everything so I must click on that and that and that if I want to split the whole thing yeah and then I'm going to simply go up and click edit split clip okay oh cannot split clips at the beginning please adjust the position oh okay of course because this one's at the very beginning of the very beginning so let's go there instead okay right in the middle so let's click on that and that and that and I don't want those two clicked let's unclick those unclick those unclick those unclick those <laughs> you will unclick all right and then I'm going to go edit split clip okay so that's all split there then let's say I don't want this section there up to 40 seconds okay I just don't want that section anymore don't like it so let me just raise this up a bit so you can see what I'm doing so then I'm going to click on those three okay so I've got all those three highlighted and I'm going to unclick these because I don't want those highlighted edit and split the clip again okay so I've now split that so I can now delete these three sections there so that's exactly what I'm going to do go and edit and delete and I've now split the clip so I don't that that section of the video there I didn't like I'm now going to go and pick on these and I'm going to move them all up so they now meet with that bit there okay so now look what happens when I press play it's going to all look a bit odd. Move up and down the page a little. I'm uploading a video to YouTube Boom. right now. So I've just literally, YouTube. you know, moved a little section out of the video. I've just completely deleted it and then moved the rest of the video up. All right. So look, guys, I'll be honest with you. This was a real sort of basics, just showing you around the basics of using ScreenFlow. What I'm going to do now in the next video is I'm going to show you how you would export this. If you were happy with this video, this video is the one you wanted. I'm now going to show you how you would export this and save it, all right, in the correct format. So I'll see you in the next video.